new school year! Heck yeah! And you know what makes this new school year even better? ACX John 11! We're getting more theories, mediocre gameplay videos, all that sort of stuff. I'm really sad. This long, and then we lost him. He turned to dust. But he does have a Discord server. I had a Discord server until it was vandalized and destroyed. I don't know why this is still a problem. I don't know why this was a problem in the first place. Uber Eats? Why does Michelle have to constantly say, don't do Uber Eats? I don't know. Uber Eats is like over $20? Who has $20? No one. This is some- this has been something that has been hecking me off for nearly two years, alright? And there- well, there's a lot of stuff that's been hecking me off for over two years that I haven't made a video on, but this particular thing is the buses. And you're like, Ryan, what's wrong with buses? You're just really dumb. Well, there's several things wrong with the buses. Nobody cares! That's not the issue. Alright, issue is, the first year I was at Thunderbird, we had a nice big bus. It was an old bus, but we had a big bus, there was room for everyone. And then I'm like, the school's like, hmm, we should get a new bus. And that's fine, if you have space in the budget for it, or if it's necessary, then sure, get a new bus. But this bus, alright, this bus was a smaller bus, and on the big bus, we were already a little bit tight at times, you know? So, second year, sophomore year, we have the smaller bus, but it's a newer bus. And we had a problem, all right? There's too many people on the bus, all right? There weren't enough seats. We had to have three people on the seats, and these aren't the biggest seats in the world, you know? Just a school bus. So we had three people on some seats. Some people had to sit on the floor, and it was just madness. So all the people in the aisle had to get out of the bus, let the people in the seats get out, and then the aisle people would have to get back in the bus, and the bus would go vroom away. And the district's like, okay, we made a mistake buying a smaller bus. Let's fix this by getting one route and moving it to another bus. And this splitting up the route with another bus, that caused a lot of confusion. It wasn't communicated well. But that's besides the point. And even after that, the bus still had too many people. So now, in the 2018-2019 school year, guess what? The bus routes still split. We still have a smaller bus. And you want to know something? There are still too many people on my bus. All right, we need a bigger bus, you heckin' moron. Who thought it was a good idea to get a smaller bus? It's like, oh, it's a new bus. I don't want to spend the extra $20 to buy a slightly bigger bus. <laughs> now I have to spend more money and buy an entirely different, newer bus. <laughs> because you have all of these people on a bus, you know, and there's all the heat and the chaos and the noise. It's just madness. All right, you need to get a bigger bus. All right, bigger bus. How hard is it? It's not that hard. It's not hard at all to get a bigger bus. You just need a bigger, heckin' bus. Thank you for watching.